So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Us 4. We're of course playing with the Amber Fancy mod, Isabellin, as we make this diplomacy and talk and things everywhere. We're making friends and the good thing is we are achieving some stuff. For example, we finally have this mission done. In the century since Lady Isabel sailed from Turner, we have grown distinct from the city and forged our own in the identity outside the petty divisions of Lensenori and Abenarian. However, the citizens there still hold us in high regard, as distant kinsmen who have left home and achieved great things. A group of artisans and mages from Turner have written to us with the desire to give the, cit the city a grand monument. A, statu a statue of the esteemed widow, 200 feet tall, clad in bronze and crowned in silver thorns, carrying an eternal flame of golden lamb to light the way to our shores. And to hurl fireballs at any who would try to take our liberty. <coughs> Trademarked. So, uh, we get the Foreign Lady, which gives us a lot of defensiveness and improved relation, which is actually pretty useful. A great light cast upon the sea, the torch of the Foreign Lady guiding me to an open door and uh, an invitation to take part in a golden tree. One can scarcely see common ground between the disparate lands of Halan and all the fractious peoples in them. However, the same sun rises and sets on their days, and the same moon starts light their nights. Uh, the same moon and stars light their nights. Another light has joined them, the light of our city, illuminating their way across the sea to their dreams. Oh! Sure, bunch of stuff. This doesn't give me any Diplo boosts, but I do want to get it done at some point. Alright, oh, and we need to improve relation with system mark. <laughs> so, we can finally ignore Toronair. That's very good. That means we can... Actually, we can then work on this. I'm Sestian Mark again. Yeah, screw it. Improve relation. Let's become friends. You're forcing my hand here. I'm I'm gonna be your friend. You can you can try what you want. Here comes a hug. <laughs> okay, that's already it. I guess we're now saving up a bunch of money. We still have a lot of level C three centers of trades to do. Uh sure. Let's get these guys also in. I have all of the cool stuff. The mages have religious, the Varelian. I'm alright with that. So, Sestimark. Let's get some relation back. We are allied to your rival and it upsets you. To be honest, this alliance doesn't really do jack shit for me. That is still a relic from times past when it actually did something for me. Uh, we probably have to spend points here. Yep. Well, I gotta say, our development is definitely getting somewhere. So... The good thing is we don't have a crazy amount of provinces, so this is usually rather... ...focused. Yeah. Time to upgrade. What about the gnolls? Still not. Still not. Nobody wants to improve this eye. Oh no, we actually have only one. Right? Only this one is now. Well, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not like that. So this is just constantly increasing because we've invested so much. I guess we can do that again. Uh... So, spending some money on this. Let's fill that treasury up. This doesn't do anything for us. Alright. We are gonna be with you right away. <laughs> hey, the prestige. Permanent navies. That's all just money in Greece. Actually, that's something that I wanted to check. Is anything here doing Diplo stuff? Liberty Desire? Not really. So I'm not really having to charge towards it. So, we're gonna cancel this alliance with first Tipney, as we've already established, to make Sestemark not as angry as us. We are also historical friends, technically. So you gotta chill. Stop being hostile towards me. I thought we're friends. Need to mend these stupid relations. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
In principle, artificers have great potential to further the growth and prosperity of our city, and to pursue of perfecting the instrument is well regarded in uh, Isabellum. However, they must act with respect for public order and, and the rule of law. Recently, a cade of artificers has arrived in Drasildan from Harath. As we soon found out, this group was expelled from the Troiki and for good reason. The kobolds and goblins' inventions are quite brilliant, but completely unrestrained by consideration of safety and good sense. The gnomes who joined them act not as moderating influence, but accomplices. Already the citizens of Drasildan have lodged complaints about random explosions rocking the neighborhood, shattering windows and erupting their sleep. They demand that the city council the mayor pass and enforce ordinances against these dangerous terrorizing Drasildan. So, we can just get a bunch of them around, which is probably one thing that I like, or we can just say tolerance degrees. Welcome. Time to get the next race accepted, right? Uh, we do actually already have... Oh, kobolds are oppressed. Ah, ha, 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 that's not happening. So, 90. We need 150, as always. Your rival is... Well, right here. So... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, let's wait a second until they come back. <coughs> I don't need allies. <laughs> I need other things. Other, lots of other things. Could you guys stop with that? I feel like now all of a sudden all of they want to do is steal my... Uh, steal my uh, stability. So... And then we just need to send them a gift. Before they die. So, 25, I don't care. It's not like this is in any way or shape hindering me. The next uh, step right here. Good. Uh, we have a bunch of points again. Let's quickly deal with that. Good. <coughs> Who's next on the list? I think at this point we only have double, right? Your double, your double. Oh no, there we go. Oh, that's actually not even that far away from me. Uh, which province is that? This one. So we need to go to Malak now. Do we have anything over there left? We have Bulva. Oh. It's a Phoenix Empire. Well, time to get a move on. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can technically stop all of that as well. I think that's alright. Uh, also, here you go. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I mean, I guess... No, I would need to get them back out again. So we'll do it this way. You guys go back home. We're gonna get rid of the military access. And then the fleet basing rights. Just to be done with it. And Pulva is not that far away. So, you guys. Obsidian Legion, I need to make a move. I think we actually can go... Yeah, I think if we go all the way all the way over here, we will have an easier time to reach Pulva. We of course need to also go to Sekdir then. <laughs> We're just having a walk through the world. It's, isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. This is gonna cancel that again. Yeah, yeah, you guys also have fun. We leave the serpent spine behind and make it into Ulva. Okay, the first rebellion debate. Oh god. <laughs> The Eurasian God believes that when you die, you get judged by an and depending on if you've lived according to your patron deities, ideals, that determines where you go to hell, serve the present penance in Nerod's armies against hell, or live your life in blissful paradise in your respective deities' divine plane. While the nature of the infernal planes in Nerod's fugue plane has been confirmed by countless accountants of demons and bound in summoning circles, and red reapers sighted hunting down undead, it is the nature of the celestial planes that has eluded most of the modern world. Until now. Great research and forays into planar binding have allowed the Revelian Church to con contact and communicate with a great number of celestial beings and have discerned that they too are just as lost as we are. 
Their beliefs and lore are just as diverse and shrouded in mystery as ours, but one thing persists throughout. That the equivalent of their founders or creator is dead and that their origin myths are all contained in an ancestral homeland that their race originated from. This revelation combined with the new transcripts from the god fragment and cross-referencing commun commonalities of myth in our world, cultures and religions have led to the conclusion that heaven exists, but its gates are closed and its location forgotten with the near death of the one god. The Fugue Plane exists, but not in the way we know it. It is not a demi plane associated with the Shadow Plane, but it's insist, uh, instead a Fugue demands a political entity that exists within the Shadow Plane itself. They are the dead to do get judged, but not by Pal no, not, but by the red cloaked celestial angels of death. Not only that, but the power of both the celestial and infernal ebb and flow due to their beliefs in their creators. Since the belief in the one god has faltered, so has the powers of the celestials explaining their absence in the prime material plane. It is with that the Roman Church now believes more than ever that uh, uh, that revealing the truth of the of a one God to the world is paramount, and that by restoring faith in God will the gates of heaven open, salvation can be achieved by all, both mortal and celestial. The Roman debate in, in question now lies, and how do we achieve with salvation and a power God in the first place? So the Seller Doctrine says conversion is but the first step, the region court mythos of emulating your patron's ideals is the truth. God is good and wants us to be good. We must perform good works for the church, ourselves and each other if we are truly empower if we are truly empower God. The Erudite Doctrine says it is, it is true belief and understanding alone that the power is God. Not only knowing, but truly understanding the truth is what faith is made of. And as such we can only achieve true salvation through ruminating on the truths that have been revealed before us. So, we get the Rebellion Debate. Oh, active, that's not a Rebellion Debate. So, this one is gonna do Institutions and Placement Cost, Resistance and Reformation, Opinions and Heretics. Or this one is gonna be Missionary Strength, Resistance and Reformation, Institutions and in True Faith Provinces. I would probably be more accepting towards everything as always. Yeah. Uh, where were we? Right. Can't mental military access all around. <coughs> Hello, Phoenix Empire. It is I. The good guys. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wait, where was it? I forgot which one it was. Bulvadi. So right in Boulevard, okay. Let's cancel the military access here. And then we improve relation with the Phoenix Empire. So the Phoenix Empire is gonna be a bit more difficult to deal with because the Phoenix Empire is a fucking massive. <laughs> We'll see what we can do. Right, so we assume that we once again just need to get 150 opinion? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you have rivals at least, that's good. I can't ally you, can I? No, it's unlikely. Uh, do we want to try to get the rectorate stuff going? I mean, we still need Sestem, Mark. Uh, uh, friendly. I mean, we are friendly towards them. They would stop being so hostile. Oh, uh, I don't care. I feel like I should just do a lot of opinion stuff with you. Okay, I guess we're also losing a shit ton of uh, stability now. Let's also quickly do one of these, as always. I don't have any gold. Kind of just realized. So let's do another one of these, as always. There is a few things we can do with the money, so we might as well just throw it at the buildings and building up. There we go. Where was I? Phoenix Empire. I don't. I can't influence you, right? No, you're too big for that. I oh, will see. I mean, I can insult. I can... Can I guarantee you? I don't think I can because you're too big. Yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, allying them would be probably the easiest way to go about this. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. I mean, the other thing is also not happening, right? The other thing would be uh, 30 favors. I mean, we could attempt to get this stuff done. I think it's gonna just take forever. Uh, there we go. Whatever. You don't matter. Guild. Hey, 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 hey. So this time I'm not done with you yet. I guess we could be a little bit faster with them. Get off when I Oh, because Laura is doing it. I see. Be happy about me. <gasps> Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. S that is fantastic, that is amazing. Next thing on the list is, uh... The Rowan State. That's actually someone I actually feel, uh, feel like I should, I should have also allied at some point, but we'll see. <coughs> Let's see how much we need. I mean, we did by indulgence, so that's why they are very happy about us. Which is good. We have even more rep Jesus Christ. Why? Is it because the autonomy decreased? I guess it is. Calm down, boys. Oh, we can't have, we can't have like an out of all army easily. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's also gonna help with diplomacy to actually have a big army, so... So we don't need to do anything else here, but we do need to still do the thing for Sela, right? Yeah. So I guess we are gonna do all of the cool stuff. Okay, not yet. <laughs> Whatever you do, I don't care. Innovativeness is probably looking pretty spicy. 82, not bad. Okay, so like I said before, it's gonna be probably not very easy to get you guys onto the right track. Let's see if we could somehow get this done by being friendly towards you. That's the Vanbury Guild, that doesn't matter. We can, of course... Oh, wow! That's not nice. Okay, this doesn't work. You need to stop drilling. That's a bunch of guys that died on that. And I don't know how many we've gotten, actually. Either way, you continue drilling. Oh, we have... Uh, okay, this is actually all of the army that we already have, so... Five of you. You can have one more general. You drill. So, uh, where was I? The Phoenix Empire. Your rivals are Garvet. I don't give a shit about Garvet. Screw you, Garvet. So, that makes you happy. Not happy enough, though. I can send you a gift. <laughs> which is gonna be very expensive, but hey. I don't need favors on the set on Sestemag anymore, do I? Technically speaking. I guess we're gonna stop that as well. And put that onto... I mean, I could start getting favors with the Phoenix Empire. That is an option. If we can't do this. Let's see how much money we have to send them to make them happy. A lot, it seems. But we have it. Come on, you gotta be friendly towards me at some point. God damn it. Alright, uh, we need to spend Diplo points. Let me just quickly check. So, leave me be. We do need favors with the Revelian State, though. That is true. They are not getting friendly towards me, the bastards. Then this means that it's gonna take forever. We need 25. Yay. 
What other ways are to to get opinion? I guess I could subsidize their income. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what we do. Family act. Yeah, lovely. So. We're gonna have to do this quickly, so we're gonna... Do -do 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 -do. We easily should be able to do this, right? I also like that I'm financing the Viking Phoenix Empire. <laughs> So, the improved relation is ticked down. Okay, what's what's the uh, outcome of this? Prestige decay, uh, lovely. Prestige decay reduction. We need to, uh, once again, improve relation with you. And maybe resend you a gift. Maybe, we'll see. So it was free. We're gonna get 10 more. Yeah, this should be all right. If we just wait this out, that should be all right. And then we're done with the Bulvari. We need to get to no North Kastanaf, who's that? That's awful. <laughs> I hate it, just visually speaking. <laughs> oh wait, what's the time? I'm getting a little bit, uh, okay, we still have time left. I'm getting, I mean, this is still kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's odd, of course, but it's still kind of fun. We're also getting towards the Diplomatic soon. That's nice. So, don't annoy me. I guess we are getting this one rather fast because of the high opinion that the Red State has with us. You have 200 opinion of you and you're not getting friendly. Fuck you. Something else to be said about that. Is this even gonna happen in this? Oh, this might just not happen. Goddamn send gift. Just ticks down, right? Yeah. That's bullshit. Oh, no, wait. Nah, just happened. Just happened. Fuck off. Okay, we, we can do this. Come back home. God dang it. So this one as well, why not? Let's give these guys another quite a bit input in terms of money. Oh no, wait! Okay, it's enough now. Good. So we have the first step of the museum. It doesn't have a description, right? Yeah. This is just a tiny minor description. There you go. I'll stop paying you money. Don't care. We'll see what else. We did see Northcast enough. Alright, how do we get there easily? I think boat is probably gonna be the fastest way to do this, but it's gonna... might break my boats. Uh... I mean, yeah. Norian... I guess I could... I mean, we, no, we are running out of diplomats. Alec Brun, Kedadat. Oh, Kedadat! Oh, well, then, uh, then I'm gonna stay here. Who owns Kedadat? Elisna. Hello, a listener. We've heard that you own something. Some museum stuff. I mean, we then have a listener, we have... Alec Brun, and I guess Tian Lu as well. So that's gonna take a hot second. Hello! You own Ketadat. We want to take a look. At this wonderful place. Uh, we need to have the guild high, so... But that eventually happens. I mean, the guild is now looking pretty, pretty decently up there. Uh, do we want the stability? No, I think I'm gonna still go for innovativeness. Just filling that up. Two years, we can take all of that. Well... Let's just overtake everybody in terms of development. By just devving. I mean, it's gonna take a while to get it done that way, but it's not impossible. 
So at least now, you are not a great power, so we can actually do something normal to towards you. Now we also have two dudes available again. The rebellion state has still not decided upon... Nope. They are still not my friend. God damn it. This just makes this take longer. In the end. It's not complete, uh, completely garbage. Oh, no worries. I gotta do it for you. Let's make sure that these points are spent. So, at least now. Let's improve relation with you. Become their set up. I guess that's a thing. So, we might as well then also now start working on the other guys. Where's Tipney? You don't hate me enough to stop me, right? Yeah. I need to go to a certain place now, if you don't mind. Malagna, if you don't mind, I would also... Oh, you actually like me, Malagna. That's nice. <coughs> All the way to... Uh, Bozo Bozan Kovac. Let's cancel this as soon as you are out. So... Time to improve relation. This one I don't even need that much for. Huh? Oh! Actually, you know what? Sure. Let's ally in Malagna. And now they're finally on. Uh, they're finally friendly enough. So as they mark, this is just gonna. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna f easily fix itself. We have fixed our uh, uh, relations quite well. How actually is that one looking? We're at 32.5. That feels like it takes a long time, not gonna lie. <coughs> uh, we do need the tolerance, so we have to eat that. But we did decide that... Uh, that was artillery? Yeah, it was. Diplo ideas. I mean, we are actually looking pretty alright already, but... Another diplomat is gonna do wonders for us. For example, we are gonna just go to Elkos. And start this one already. Can do all of these at once. Of course we have the Diplo focus, so uh, this is gonna get done rather fast. Yep, kobolds need to be tolerated. And Isabel Island we actually have a little bit of an issue with, because... I think we currently don't have enough... We still have slots available, right? Do we? Okay, what's the, what's the issue? Oh wait, this one here. High development and unbind cost. Oh! oh. A challenge! All right, next Dublin development is all going to be focused on uh, on you. We can't have that, can we? I guess uh, when this one is done... I don't even need this, I think, at the moment. For now. Do I? I mean, it is going down slowly. Next thing is going to be... I mean, the counting house is a little bit away. But the Malagna thingy is gonna be done soon, just one more tick. And then we need to make our way towards... I think I'm just actually gonna walk. Let's just walk. So. Yinik Aquarium. Let's go. We can stop with this guy as well. You will make your way over here. And we're gonna move through. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, these are, of course, are a lot easier to do. Then Trimgab as well. And then, I guess... Can we go all the way to Elkos? Yes, we can. Good. I don't care that we currently lose Diplo because of that. I'm just gonna quickly make the move through everything, so... Because then we can just tell you guys, run all the way to Arik Brun. There we go. 
Ah! Okay. One of the guys that I had a diplo thingy with. Do you still exist? So I cards. Oh, we're still guaranteeing Gromba. Oopsie. Don't take it personally, but that was uh, that was a joke. Okay, so we need to... Uh, so the nation that was here is, I think, dead. That's the only thing I can assume. So now we should be able to go to Arik Prun. Yes. And then we can start getting rid of the military access again. And we probably also should... Uh, oh. There we go. Uh, one thing that we can get started here before I forget it is the Influence Nation, which is a lot. Should I have to proclaim guarantee, right? Uh, well, let's just insult uh, some zoom, but that also works. Don't need anything to do with you guys. Then we just send you a lot of money. And then we're done with Alisna. Who is that? Still Laura. Yeah, at this point, screw you, Laura. <laughs> I've decided that I don't like Laura. Simple as that. Okay, now we need the gift. I'm just throwing our money around in the world, just flexing, you know. That's what I do. That's not a museum, the Kadaratan wing. And we have Arik Prun, Tian Lu. I think Tian Lu we are not good. Actually, we could probably walk to Tian Lu. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. We still need to go to Kastnach, but I think I'm gonna do that over boats. And then these, t then these two double things here. Alright. You run back here. So Elkos is done. Let me just quickly also do all of these. I think we're gonna st start removing some of these uh, military excesses real quick. Just so that that doesn't cause too much trouble. I'll probably, I mean, I'm gonna quickly do all of that so I don't forget it. So. And then we need to do some work on you. Influence Nation. Your rival is Bakatir. Sure. And then we need to send you money. Thanks. Let's just do all of that so I don't forget it. Maybe technically only need 10. Boom. Precursor wing. So we only need Sela and uh, uh, Noctardin, dun dun dun, then Castanav and Thingy. You are gonna ship her home. And we can do this over boats. We cancel the military access with you. We have done everything up north, basically. Oh wait, we cannot do that right now. But we, we can do Phoenix Empire. Thank you very much. But I guess we're gonna end this episode here then. So like always, like the Rhyme Ocean Onigans. And I guess I'll see you guys next episode. <laughs> I'm just I'm just moving, so don't mind me. <laughs> so now everybody's on the way. Bye!